Well, the global microchip shortage is having a big impact on the car industry here in our area. Our Emma Hamilton joins us now live to explain. Emma. Shannon, these cars that you see behind me right here are the only ones on the lot here at the J.C. Lewis Ford on Abercorn Street because of that shortage. Now, microchips are what run all of the technology in your vehicle, and without it, new cars can't be on the lot. 21 years in the car business, never seen anything like it. The pandemic is partially to blame. Between factories having to shut down during the global health crisis and a fire at a Japanese factory back in March, microchips are hard to come by. It's real for us. We're at any given time, we have, you know, eight, 900 cars company wide. On the ground right now, we're probably 20% of that. JC Lewis Ford General Manager James Eady says the trade in value right now is sky high, with the supply being so low. He says people are turning to their online platform and shopping there, but then waiting weeks and months until the car can actually get here. On the flip side of that, auto repair shops like Integrity Auto Repair in Savannah has seen business go way up as people decide to fix their vehicles rather than buying new ones. For us, it's just put a ton of you know demand on us and a ton of stress on us to make sure we're still providing the customer service that we need to to take care of people because this may be the only car that they're going to get for a while. How long do you think that we could see this shortage? Do you have any type of estimate? I don't have any personal estimate, but from what I'm hearing kind of on the street from other manufacturers and general managers, we could be looking at this another 12, 18 months. What I'm seeing from industry reports is their supply is coming back up, but there's a long supply chain. Chips are in each vehicle. So Shannon, to put this into perspective for you, the most basic F-150 Ford truck has 15 microchips, but the top of the line one, the most advanced truck that they have on the lot has 65 microchips. So as you can imagine, very necessary for these new vehicles. Wow, that is a lot. All right, Emma, thanks so much.